you guys, welcome back to Wallington Filming, your host here, The Candleman. And if you're new to the channel, God bless you. <laughs> yeah, welcome back guys, welcome back. Well, as you can see from the thumbnail, I was on, on the tools live. Oh, yeah, beauty. Hey, something else that is. If you didn't catch the video, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to go and check it out. Where I mingled with some of the best in the trades, discussing topics of um, what is the hardest trade. Now, despite what I said in that video, painting, obviously, is the hardest trade there is going, let's face it. You know, we have to overcome everybody else's defects and make it look, make the work look good because we're the finishing trade. So, yeah, we are the hardest trade. Uh, I, I, I was just agreeing with them for uh, entertainment purposes. Um, you know, making, yeah, I, I didn't want to blow my own trumpet, do you know what I mean? But yeah, despite what I said on there, we, we've got the hardest trade, don't give a damn what anybody says. So yeah, uh, in actual fact, I was sitting on that email uh, from On The Tools for over six months at least, and I kept pulling it off and pulling it off, and uh, in the end, I cleared all my emails out, and I thought, I better email these guys back and I, and uh, yeah, they got me on the show. Um, within a few days, which was nice. And hopefully, they'll have me in the studio at some point to slobber on them more about the difficulties of house bashing and private work, etc. But yeah, I won't even, I didn't even know what to expect, to be honest. Um, uh, it, it was a bit of a shock to be talking with loads of people. But yeah, it was all right, all right, can't complain. Bloody hell, my arm's hurting me now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that went quite well. Go and check that out. I, I think I've got about 5 million uh, subscribers and I'm bloody on the tools. Jesus, might do me some good. You never know. I had a bit of a surprise visit today on the Friday. Um, oh, I've got to rest my arm on it. It's killing me. <laughs> um, yeah. I had a bit of a surprise visit today from uh, the formerly known Flash. Unbelievable. He just ran me up and he was slobbering away and next thing you know he says, what's that young, I'm going to come and uh, have a couple of Rosie Lee with you. So that was, that was very nice. And we did get on the subject of um, house painting and private work and stuff and uh, you could be looking uh, the Flash and the Candleman reunited in the future doing private work. Yeah, going out there, getting the work, doing it ourselves. I used to do a lot with the old man in a village, very wealthy village, and uh, I might even target that because, I mean, that stuff can keep you in work all year round. It's unbelievable, and it, it, it's better, isn't it, if you can get it. It is a lot better if you can get it. So I might be teaming up with the Flash in the very near future. It is a possibility. Watch this space, guys. Watch this space. It could be fun. Can you imagine that? Loads of videos of the Flash. I think he'd come out of retirement for it, don't you? Anyway, got sent a load more of... Um, a load more kit from... I think it's Prestige... Decorating supplies, something like a paper and kit, and a few other bits and bobs. I might uh, round this video up with um, a couple of the brushes that sent me, so you can see what's available from his website. Do you know what I mean? Um, hopefully, I'll leave a, a link in the description box for 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 his shop or his website, whatever the case may be. So, you know, if you want to buy a few bits from there, put your order in if there's somewhere to put 
Candleman Dan, you'll probably get a discount, do you know what I mean? So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Visit from Flash. Might be hitting the private work. Um, I'm actually in a three bedroom plot. Still doing the house bashing, loving every minute of it, earning a fortune. It's like Flash says, uh, the, the painting world's just not been the same since you retired from house painting. You know what I mean? Very true, very true words from a wise man. But yeah, still in the plots, banging the plots out in this three bed. Good price as well, that quite surprised me. Yeah, not a bad price at all. And uh, to make it even better, it's eight minutes from me house. Do you know what I mean? Eight minutes? Isn't it? It's just not heard of, is it? Eight minutes? I mean, yeah, it's normally like 48 or 38, isn't it? But no, eight minutes from the house, guys. Eight minutes! Oh, you bite off! What do you reckon? But yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Enough of that slobbering. Uh, I'm gonna crack on, got money to earn, guys. Money to earn, do you know what I mean? Gotta keep my kids in the manner they're accustomed to. You know where I'm coming from, don't you? So yeah, gotta get all these frames rubbed down and uh, undercoated up this afternoon. Oh my God, it's a Friday as well. Bloody hell, can't wait. But enough of, I'm, I'm sick of this house bashing game. If you can get into that private work, I'll be an happy man. Me and Flash painting big outsides for two months and stuff like that. Be good number that will. It, we, I, I'd be chuffed for that. We could even have um, his and hers matching vans, couldn't we? With the sign writing on. You're yeah, fine, can you imagine that? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to call it Candle and Flash though, would we? No. If you've got any good names for a company for me and Flash, write it in the comments. Yeah, yeah, do that. We need a name for candle, the Candleman and the Flash, but it's not got to sound like the Candleman and the Flash, is it? It's got, it's got a, you know, well, I don't know, gone in a flash. <laughs> hey. Oh, do you keep the flame burning? No, no. What do you reckon? Candle flash, candle and flash, flash candle, flash candle. I don't know. Let me know. Any good names I want to know, and you'll get mentioned. Uh, in the next video, so yeah, yours truly signing out for the, for, for the minute. I got I got to get on with my job. You know what I mean? Money to earn, two hundred pound a day. You know, I've got to work for it, isn't you? It's not for free. Well, it's a nice hot day today, and um, I thought I'd go for a little paddle. I did. Yeah, yeah, little paddle. It's a good thing about new builds today, isn't it? You know, they come with their own swimming pools. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, a guy come in earlier and says, oh, I've just got to turn on... I've just got to turn on all the taps like, so I presume that's something to do with the drains, isn't it, or something? And here's me glossing away, minding my own business and start doing the skirts downstairs and thought, hmm. Where's all that water coming from? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I poked my head round into the kitchen and uh, this is what I found. So I thought I'd go for a little paddle, take my shoes and socks off and do a bit like, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just started glossing skirts and I thought, hey look, what's all that the hell? Come into the kitchen, oh you fight and look at it, you beauty. Hey, so I don't know. The bathroom's up there, so I'm assuming there's some sort of leak on the pipe, isn't there? Plumbers again, plumbers again. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do now, because I've got to paint these skirts and they're all MDF. But yeah, rely on the plumbers to do the job properly, can't you? Hey, I mean, how's anybody supposed to check it? Builders can't check it, can they? Because it's all under the floor. But yeah, you got a fighter. Oh, 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 you beauty, look at it. So yeah, they've had all the taps on the sink there. 
One's upstairs, that one had it all on, and that's where I, I spotted it. And lo and behold, there you go. Happy days. Oh, you beauty. Well, you know, what can you say? Hey, who's supposed to check the plumbing work? I presume their, their gaffer's supposed to check it, isn't they? But obviously, they haven't. You know? Always pick on the painters though, don't they? That'll be my fault, that will. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, painter's fault. Who's had the tax on? That well, weren't me, so obviously the painter. But yeah, yeah, beauty. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now, I've got paint around there. Well, what can I say? Back in the day, when I first started house bashing, who remembers the days when you used to cut in the new build plots with one of these babies? Oh, yeah, fighter! Hey, four inch brush! Hey, those were the days, look at that. I dug this out from underneath the stairs the other day. Hey, forgot I got them, to be honest. Forgot I got them. Four inch brush, look at that. Yeah, fighter. Put your bids in now, on sale on eBay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, four inch brush. Look at them. Yeah, beauty. Just pay a fortune for these damn things. I think we're about 30 odd quid or something for a four inch brush. Now, I look back at them times, I think to myself, how did a man of my talent handle such a big one? You know what I mean? Four inch brush, I mean, I don't, I don't touch them now. I don't touch them. Number one, Hamilton's are like, the price is through the roof, isn't it? So I don't, I don't bother. Um, but yeah, back in the day, I used to use them on a day in, day out basis. And I do ponder on the idea whether they're worth buying. So, there they are. All ready for cutting in. <laughs> Well, in association with Prestige Decorating Supplies, the place to go for your Axis kit. Hey, Richard, his name is, sold to the earth and uh, sent me loads of free kit. Um, but I'm not doing a giveaway because last time I did it, I sent a few bits out and it's like people didn't, didn't appreciate it, so I'm not gonna bother anymore. But anyway, he sent me a load of more brushes. And here's the, uh... I think that's on the piece. Anyway, yeah, he sent me a load of brushes and here's the four inch Axis one. Um, retails at about 11 quid, I think. Uh, now I do like these pro blue ones. They've got a nice feel to them, but I'm just trying to think. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's on the piss! Jesus Christ! Prestige decorators, I don't know where you're around these, mate, but you need sort of out, mate. That's no good, is it? Hey, it, it, it just don't feel right when it's bent, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Def definitely on the piss, though. I haven't just noticed it. Oh, but yeah, um, I will try and get this a bit of a bit of a use if I can at some point. Um, don't know whether I'll be able to cut in straight lines with it not being straight. But hey, I'm gear to go. Uh, I'm still pulling a three-inch brush through its paces. I've got rest of my arm, it's killing me. Um, yeah, still pulling a three-inch brush uh, through its paces, a blue one. And uh, I'll let you know in a few months. Now I'm back on the house bashing, do you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, also sent me some of these cutting in brushes. Now, I've got to admit, 
I've never used them. Never ever used one of these these types. Uh, quite a long handle on these. Don't know how much these are. Don't care because I don't pay for them. <laughs> yeah, fighter. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind getting this a bash. See what they feel like. Quite a difference in the length of handle. Look. But yeah, three inch as well. So yeah, might uh, might get them in the bag. But yeah, if you fancy any kit from Prestige Decorating Supplies, just uh, follow the link below. Um, put your order in. If there's somewhere to put Candleman there, they might give you a bit of discount. You know what I mean? Not as much discount as me, because mine are free. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Brush is reasonably priced, isn't it? Uh, let's have a quick look and compare them. Yeah, really, yeah. Let's have a look. Bit of a difference on the thickness of the bristles. I mean, obviously, that's pure bristle and that's synthetic, but it's the way it goes, isn't it? At least we're not killing any little pigs in China, I suppose. But yeah, big difference on the um, on the thickness. Does make a difference when uh, it comes to holding paint in the bristles, doesn't it? You know, big difference. But yeah, yeah. Right on. <laughs> Get them babies. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't realise that. Quite a lot thinner, isn't it? But there you go. Not to worry. <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's crack on, shall we? Um, I, I will try and get to use that four inch at some point. But these days, I, just, I don't think you need a four inch brush, do you? I think three inch is more than adequate. Uh, four inch, you tend to be overdoing it a little bit. But obviously there is certain jobs where a four inch will be a lot better than a, than a three inch. Just uh, depends what type of work you're doing, I suppose, doesn't it? As it come to man of my talent painting meat boxes something wrong something wrong i'll tell you what i can never understand this and it's a, a problem that's been baffling me for decades why don't they just add the meter boxes outside made in brown plastic pre-finished like they do on a lot of the doors on certain builders because all you gotta do is tell the manufacturers say make all these in brown plastic so we ain't gotta have them painted which has got to be a good thing hasn't it because how long's a meter box gonna last before it starts flaking and peeling and wants repainting and let's face it, they never look as good, do they? 
when they've been painted compared to something that's pre-finished in the correct colour. It always baffles me why the men at top of these building companies don't pick that up. Because it looks better, saves us painting them, and you just get a better finish, don't you? It's, it looks better pre-finished. And some of the metre boxes are at ground level or pre-made in brown plastic. So why can't they do the electric one when the gas one's brown on the floor and the electric one's pure white? Never makes sense to me. Never makes sense. Because they're getting built for it, isn't they? Because whoever's, whoever's putting um, the price in for painting an outside, they've got to add that onto the price, isn't they? So the builder could take that off and just use that money to um, pay for the brown meter boxes. Baffling, absolutely baffling. Never known, it's been going on for decades and decades, isn't it? No one's ever done out about it, have Weird, weird. Well, who am I at the end of the day? Just a painter. Thank you.